Hey, it's Joan Monroe for EUR Web, and we are live on the red carpet for the series premiere of American Soul, the BET series that covers Soul Train and Don Cornelius' origin story. Stay tuned as we take you on the hippest trip in America. So what does Soul Train mean to you growing up? Soul Train, so for me, everybody laughs when I tell this story because the black experience was that you got up on Saturday morning, you had your chores, most of us had to pull our clothes out for church on Sunday. You got your hair washed and pressed, maybe rolled up, you're walking around, you're cleaning up, you're doing everything you gotta do. You do all of that, and then there's Soul Train. And you're supposed to be cleaning up, but everything stops when Soul Train comes up. Nothing gets done during that hour. So I read that your character's a little on the shady side, that he's pretty intense. Tell me a little bit about your character. Who's telling lies about my character, Gerald Name? Shady? Yeah. He does dip and dab in some less than legal business ventures, but he's a, he's a man of integrity, upstanding guy, and he actually befriends Don, and they become like really, really tight. You know, one of his most loyal confidants. Yeah, Shady's a little harsh. Shady's harsh, okay. What was it about doing this particular series and this role that was exciting for you? I mean, I love art that tells the history of our culture. You know what I mean? And the importance of it, because it's so important. And Soul Train was like, is like at the apex of creating a platform for us to showcase, number one, to the world who we are, but also to ourselves. That's so important for us to understand that we are valued. You know what I mean? And we mean something, we're important. And so Soul Train did that. To be able to be a part of that, that's, that's incredible, man. That's like a dream for an artist. How does it feel seeing your daughter take off into her own footsteps and, you know, make us last, because I'm busting in on Tatiana. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I was cracking up watching she the video. Me she makes me sick. This interview so is over jealous. with. He's so jealous. Next generation here. <laughs> Whatever. No. I love her. Uh, she she is the funniest. She makes me laugh. She's got a great sense of humor, and it's just love in the house. Because your acting has been so stellar for so long, some people may have forgotten your roots. What does it mean to be here on the red carpet for the Soul Train story? And were you ever on Soul Train? Actually, you know, to 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 be celebrating Don, Mr. Cornelius, American Soul, about Soul Train. You know, Robert Townsend, who directed. You know, people who understand the black diaspora. This man, right? People, people who understand, right? How to tell black stories the right way. That's what it's really about. As a dancer, as a choreographer, being on Soul Train, which I was, I performed on Soul Train years ago. I was like, I made it. You know what I'm saying? And I remember 11 o'clock on Saturdays, Watching Soul Train with my family couldn't wait for Saturday to watch Soul Train at 11 o'clock in the morning because you were waiting for the performers on the show, you were waiting for the new dance steps that was on the show, you were waiting for the Soul Train line. You, you were just waiting for the energy that it gave you. How does it feel from going to play one icon and Sean <laughs> to another? Because obviously you create social media frenzies with your performances and this is stepping into the legend shoes. How does that feel? Amazing, it's a blessing. Like as an actor, you know, my goal is always to do characters that people remember and to find things and moments that people resonate with. So the fact that people do that and they've really connected with it, it's a gift. I mean, I want you guys to understand something. This man that you see standing in front of you, there's no ego here. I'm just blessed and I'm grateful for the whole experience to have played Sean, to step into Don Cornelius, to see my friends on the other side of the camera trying to make fun of me and mimic me. It's a blessing. We love that. So it's a period piece. What is your favorite? 70s moment. Honestly, it was a collection. Shout out to our hair and makeup team. Shout out to our wardrobe team. Shout out to our set design for all the amazing things that they did every day on set. We got to step into the moment so creatively. It was make believe. It was like being in the play. He's ready. He's ready. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, man, this is a gift. This is a gift.